you know, it's just, it's kind of steep right here. I mean, that's what we're looking down. What do you think? You ready for this? Yeah. Oh yeah. Here we go. I, I tell people I probably learned how to ski before I could walk. I, really? Yeah, I started really young. Tell me, tell me about. I want to hear that moment. There, everyone, every skier has that that instance where they just know they just are ready. They that they want to become a skier and they fall in love with the sport. Just being outside, being with my dad. Um, my 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 dad and I just love to ski. I'm, I'm just feeling that freedom of being on the hill. What got you into skiing and and then eventually got you into becoming the title of All-American Skier? To be completely honest, the reason I started skiing is because my brother was having all this fun skiing and I, and, and I was looking at him and I said, oh, man, I want to go skiing too. And that's, it was literally that simple. I didn't, I didn't get a start until I was much later. I didn't, I didn't even put on a pair of skis until I was about, I don't know, about 12 years old. And um, my brother took me skiing for the first time and, and I instantly fell in love with it. We had a, had a great day. I almost hit a tree. I got a black eye. And I just fell in love with the sport immediately. And, and it was, um, it was, uh, yeah, it was, it was love. It was love at that, uh, you know, first crash. I loved the sport so much, I actually moved out of, um, moved away from home at the age of, 15 years old, or uh, 16 years old, and went to high school on my own in Colorado, and pursued ski racing there, and, and actually went to high school on my own, and, and uh, just completely because of the passion of ski racing. What do you think is like the deepest snow that you have been a part <laughs> of, or skied in, you know? Back home, back home, our, our version. Of the deep snow is like six inches, give or take. Yeah. What What do you think is like the deepest natural yeah. snow that you've been in? Seventy-two inches overnight, and we hiked to this this peak called uh, Mary's Hip off of um, off of the the run, and we hiked up and. I literally, I, I will never forget this, I made about 20 consecutive turns and the only way that I could see was I had to literally jump out of my turn so that my head would come above the snow so I could see and then I would go back under the snow and jump back up and, and see where I was going so I didn't hit a, hit a, I just went in a tree. Uh, what do you do outside of skiing both off season wise during the spring and summer and then just you know when you when you're not at the hill. Yeah. Everything that I do outside of the sport of skiing is things that will help me become a better skier. Okay. And I and I mean that even in the summertime. Like if it's uh you know I, I, I bike because it's you know it's it's, it's yeah it's great for your legs. It's great for your hand your 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 um, looking being able to look ahead and being able to see have that foresight now. Reading terrain, and um, I, I really, I really love kayaking because it's the same thing. You're reading obstacles, and it really takes a lot of uh, courage. And sometimes skiing takes a lot of courage as well. There you go. Watch that ski. There you go. Nice, nice. You're good. Good to go. <laughs> <All right. laughs> good job. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> I think that um, looking back at um, you know my skiing career, all that, all those great experiences have transitioned into into really just trying to be you know really just trying to be my best and work professionally.